if you're hunting for a vertical machining centre that is value for money, well look no further than XYZ. Chris, a, a fantastically industrial company that you've got here in Derbyshire. I'm, I'm really impressed with some of the fabricated products going through. But for this video, we want to touch on this XYZ machine, this HD that we've got here. Uh, how long has it been here, uh, firstly? We've probably had this now six to eight months, I'd say. And the, the parts that you're machining on here are, are not the easiest of materials, are they? No. I mean, you're, you're doing lots of pretty difficult stuff. Could you maybe explain what you do on the machine? A wide range of materials, really, but at the minute we're machining a lot of cast iron. And, and how does that fare? Because it's quite a sort of sticky, horrible material yeah. to cut, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the best material to cut, but it's, it's dealt with it well. And we sort of, with the 3D side of it as well, done a lot of 3D on the cast iron and uh, sort of left it running and it's do you, well. And when we look at the machine itself, tell us about um, its performance, the, the, the power of the spindle and what it's equipped with. We've got the initial three XYZs that are all relatively similar, just different, different size really. So we want something with a little bit more scope. So we upgraded to the HD version a lot more rigid, faster spindle, through coolant options, and the, and the general size of it, really. But do you notice the difference? I mean, we've, we've talked earlier about how capable the LR machines are from XYZ, but when you step up to this HD, it has been brought into the market to give you a little bit more robust machining possibilities. Is that evident? Yeah, definitely evident. Um, we're able to machine things a lot quicker. Yeah, like I say, the machine is very rigid itself. The materials were cut in and it's, it's performing very well. And when we look at this cast in here, how big is the U-drill that you actually put through here? That one's actually a 40mm U-drill, that one. And it handles it okay? Straight through, no issues at all. Yeah. And then how do you finish it then? Do you interpolate the, the whole yeah, out? Yeah, interpolate the pocket afterwards, so we sort of finish it to size after that. Uh, how would you put XYZ support down? Uh, I mean, you've got the three machines and then you've obviously bought the fourth. You must be a happy customer. Yeah, the, yeah, we seem to be. They are, they are good. The X, Y, Zs. I mean, I've been very impressed myself. Never used them before. Uh, like I say, I've had the training on it myself. Found it very easy to use, and they've been very reliable. So, why did you actually buy this machine and the others as well from X, Y, Z? We've been quite a busy shop, really, and the volume of work we had we was quite getting overwhelmed with it. So, every now and then we have subcontract work out, which, as you know, doesn't make as much money. So, we needed some reliable machines, cost-effective machines that would deliver our products and machine our products, and we could in, uh, machine them in-house, really. And have you faced many challenges because you are doing you know, a lot of very diverse materials? Have they handled everything that you've put through them? Everything we've thrown at these XYZ so far, they've, they've performed. I can't fault them really. Value for money with these machines are definitely at the top. 